good afternoon everybody and, and welcome to the first, I would say the one and only DH alumni event. Digital Humanities, as Fabian already mentioned, is a kind of large scope field. In uh, Digital Humanities, and I'm still uh, here, the guy that did the Bachelor and the Master and now the PhD at EPFL. I arrived to Switzerland and went to uh, EPFL, see the Master of Digital Humanities, and obviously, as you, like, this is it! It's not only that you know the tool, but you know that you know how to use it, but you know when you should use it. That it, right now I am with the Red Cross, and it also started as Remy with an internship. I graduated two years ago at the DH Master. I applied for a to a small startup in Bern uh, that's specializing in mapping organization. Yeah, I guess it's true that in this perspective also we are a bit halfway. So, we, of course, we are engineers, but also we did uh, some part of the way uh, the, the other side. So, for uh, for instance, uh, applying to a job, it's also interesting to show that you're an engineer. So, And I've been working maybe four years in data classical data science position within Swiss companies. I really felt there was, if you want, a plus value in having done something interdisciplinary. I currently work at Shuv. Uh, so at the hospital, not as a doctor. <laughs> Always thought it was uh, a positive actually to have digital humanities on your CV and that would uh, give him even a bit like a sense of trust that you can handle maybe uh, their domain, their topic a bit with more care and understanding than just like an engineer. From the academic uh, part of the of the job market, so it's true what uh, Ludovica, Ludovica said. Uh, I think the digital humanities positions in the future, at least in the near future, will grow. I went to Paris because it's also well known, and I, if you mention it before the mobility, it's important in academia. Mobility is important, I think, uh, no matter where you are. And you're completely right, it doesn't have to be kind of uh, geographic mobility. It can be mobility of fields, it can be uh, mobility between academia and industry and so on. In DH we actually do a lot of applied things. We have so many projects that when you get to, to a job, then you already know uh, how to do a lot of things. There are PhDs, uh, positions that are being opened with a very precise, narrow focus. This is the task, uh, this is going to be what you do. And there is PhDs where you kind of completely define your own uh, way of, of, yeah, of your own project. I think this is more important to kind of have an idea where you want to go than already having all the skills. Because if you already had all the skills, why, why would you need to do a PhD? Invest in trust. It's of course a reciprocal element, so you cannot do everything yourself, but in the end this is what counts and this is what has huge effect in guiding your path. And I think this is a good example of the importance of focusing on people. 